Hello, I just got this Uber Eats shop and pay order. I've done quite a few. I want to bring you along with me to show you how easy or how hard they can be. So as we go through, I'll give you some tips on how to make it go as smoothly as possible. So this is at a Walgreens 1460 payout. I don't recall the items, but let's check it out. So I always take a screenshot of everything, as you can see here. It looks like uh, this will be easy two of each. Um, obviously, a lot of people are getting sick. These are some healthcare items for flu. Let's go inside and shop them. So I'm going to set the stopwatch right now. Let's get in and see how long this takes. Let's go. All right, holes, mentholatum, looking for color. You'll probably see it before I do. There we are. See at the bottom here? Found item. Go ahead and scan the back. You have to make sure the uh, thing's in the right way. And they wanted two. They're a flu. I saw these earlier. It's a night time. There we go, two of these. So you can see the color was a little different. Need to put the quantity. All right, Vic Severe. Oh, this is NyQuil Severe. And we got two. All right, all done. Let's go to checkout. And then age restricted, so we'll have to scan their ID. And yes, I am using the plus card. And we'll take a photo when we're done, let's go. Hello, this will be a Uber Eats order. Right. I'll definitely get a bag too. Hmm. Someone came up the exact same thing. So. Oh, I hope it's not an issue. I'll ask. Ralph, can you come to register? Mine's for Brian, if that matters. I don't remember the name of the other one, but someone came up the exact same thing. The 222. So I don't know if it's a scam or something. A problem or something, yeah. So you're with, what was it? Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Someone just came in like five minutes ago and ordered the exact same thing from the same thing. Uber Eats, Brian. I don't, remember, I don't know if it's a problem. It or... would be a curbside order. Yeah, but I'm saying like someone else came shop for the exact same items and then... Oh, same, same name? name? I don't remember if it's the same oh. name, but it's the same item. As long as it goes through. Yeah, yeah. I want to make sure it was it's, a problem. It's, it's coincident, but maybe. Or unless they wanted to double. Because like it was the exact same. Two of yeah. the like same products and everything. So I just wanted to... Yeah. I mean, Either way, when I find the customer, I have to check their ID and all that. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, because of these. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Yep. All right. That was kind of weird. The uh, checkout guy said someone five minutes ago came in, ordered the same exact thing, the items. So he got his manager and checked it out. So now I'm going to take a picture of the receipt. So I'll take a picture. It says take photo. And I won't show you that because it's got info on there but um, you have to get back far enough to get the whole thing and you only get one try so I'll get the barcode that should be good submitting photo done now one thing to consider if they didn't have it I would have to contact the customer and that would be a problem because that's what slows you down doing these orders if you're in and out like nine minutes that's great but if you have to contact the customer 
They could be watching TV. Who knows what they're doing? They may not be responsive to your texts because you can't really bypass it. You need their permission. And so in this case, it went smoothly. Let's go to the drop off. I know I'm gonna have to scan the ID because of the cough medicine. Let's go. When I'm a few minutes out, I like to send a text message and I'm on Uber Eats, so I already have it preset and I hit send. And that lets the customer know that I'm coming. I'm connecting to him as a human being, which basically says, be nice to me and give me tips. All right, we're almost there. All right, 18 minutes, let's go drop this off. Hey Brian, I'm Russ, how's it going? I just need your ID to scan. You already delivered. <laughs> oh wow. So, I don't need it twice. Okay, all right, I'll call Uber Eats. Yeah, because I canceled the first one because it was on the wrong credit card. It canceled, it said all items removed. Oh, wow. And then I put my personal credit card on. Okay, all right, well, sorry about that. All right, take care. So as you can see, this order did not go smoothly. That cashier tried to warn me. He knew something was wrong, and I'm the one that pays the price for that. So I'm gonna call support, get permission to take it back, and then demand the payment that I'm due for my time picking up and bringing it back. So, oh, <laughs> You're gonna get to see how that goes too, and I can already guess what's gonna happen. But this will be good education for both of us, so let's call support. And of course, I'll edit out any information that you don't need to hear. Hi, thank you for calling Uber support. I see you currently have an ongoing delivery. If you need help with this order, say yes. Yes. Or if you are calling... <laughs> Music. 23 minutes not looking so good huh i brought the order to the customer and then he did not want it he said that it was a duplicate order and that five minutes before someone else had brought the order so your customer refused to accept this yes he said it was a duplicate okay. order okay thank you so let me just indicate your information so first I'm going to do right now is that okay, um, I'll be needing to put you on hold for a minute or two, try to create a, a reference so that this will not get to be taken against you since this is a duplicate order and your customer refused to accept it, okay? Okay, So thank for you. the meantime, just stay on the line, sir, okay? Thank All right. you. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. So when you deal with customer support, I've had many challenging experiences. I can only think of a couple times where it went smoothly. So let's hope this time goes smoothly. My main goal is that I get paid for my time going on this trip and taking it back. And then also that it doesn't count against me. I definitely don't want to cancel the order in the app. I'd rather talk to a person or chat with them because otherwise then it dings against you. And we don't need any account issues that are within our control. Okay, thank you for patiently holding on the other line, sir. So, um, I already um, indicated here those um, information regarding about this. Since your customer refused to accept the order, just um, indicate um, unable to deliver the alcohol, and then the prop will have to guide you to return the alcohol to the store, okay? Okay. Your fee will gonna be included payments for the entire trip, including going back to the store, okay? Okay, thank you. Do you know how much that'll be? Uh, we don't have that information, sir, since Uber will have to calculate the time and the distance that you will encounter, okay? Okay, thank you. I'll do that. You're, you're very much welcome. Call us if there will be any issues, sir, okay? Okay. But aside from this one, is there anything else? That'll do it. You're safe always, sir. Thank you for calling Uber support. Drive safe always, okay? Yep, Bye -bye. will do. Take care. Bye. Thank you. You as well. All right, so now I'm going to mark it as undeliverable. All right, return order. All right, here we go. More time. 34 minutes in, I'm back at the store. Let's go return these items and then see how much the final payout's going to be. Well, I don't know what to say. Let's finish this order. I did return it. We'll say complete return. And it says... 
I guess nothing for now. After a couple minutes, the pay came in. I made 867. I worked a total of 37 minutes. When you do the math, that works out to 23 cents per minute. So that works out to roughly $14 an hour. What do you think of $14 an hour? Is that pretty good for that kind of order? After thinking about it for a little bit, yes. Now in hindsight, when that guy said that there was an issue with the order, I probably should have just called the customer and asked, but then I'd be spending more time. So how would it have worked out? Would it have been worthwhile to just cancel the order then and move on? Or do what I did and just finish it to completion? Not really sure. $14 an hour is what I'm earning. And that's, of course, before expenses. So as you can imagine, I did not anticipate this order would go this way. I thought actually the order would be smooth, quick payout, no big deal. Then when I had to call customer service, I thought that would be terrible. It actually ends up being swapped. So despite all this, if you found value in the video, please do click the like button and share a comment. Have things like this happen to you, please share stories of your Uber Eats shop and pay orders. And I have a great video for you next. This was my very first shop and pay and it was terrible. So I'll link that here for your consideration. Again, my name is Russ. Thank you for watching. I love making videos to help drivers like you and I'll see you there.